My first experience uh, at Liambi was shortly after coming to faith. I liked what I saw when I was here, and um, shortly after that I applied to join community uh, and came down in 1979 and was here until 1984. I have a longer history than that. Um, my mother was on community in 1952. I've been coming to Liabi all my life and then um, when I was 23 I I'd trained as a dental nurse, worked as a dental nurse for a, a few years and wanted to, to do something a little bit different. So I came onto community uh, for two years, between 82 and 84, and this is where we met. Um, and then um, after Lee Abbey, we decided we'd get married. And then uh, Phil was on the board of trustees for 10 years, and it was during that time that we were invited back to, to community this time. Uh, a lot of rewards living in, in community. It's lovely to uh, be with people that love you and support you, but along with that comes challenges. When you're living closely together, the real you starts to emerge. You can't hide it because um, when you're living and working with people, people begin to see you for, for who you really are. And that can be quite painful, but it can also be um, very um, affirming as you realise that even though um, we all have our own weaknesses and shortcomings, that we're still loved um, because and despite them. There are some fairly profound moments that people have, some encounters with themselves and with other people and encounters with God that happen here in this place because of because of what the, the building is, because of the landscape it's set within, because of the fact that they're you know, away from uh, the normal pressures of life. As much as possible, you, you need to come here with your eyes wide open really as to, 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 to you know, this is, this is not a holiday camp. Um, it's, it's, um, it's relentless, the turnover of guests is high, um, so as with any uh, other business involved with, um, uh, in the hospitality industry, it's, it's really hard work, it's long hours, um, it's challenging being with other people, um, not everybody thinks the same. <laughs> um, uh, I, I think I think anybody can do it because they're you know extroverts and introverts so they're they're all here. Um, you've got to, you've certainly got to be prepared to um, change and bend. Um, you you couldn't you you wouldn't survive very long if you if you had a very rigid set of beliefs um, that that couldn't be um, you, you felt couldn't be challenged or uh, altered. You need to be physically fit and uh, you need to be willing to do things that um, in other uh, walks of life you might not expect to do. So, you know, somebody with a degree might be cleaning toilets or, or whatever. So um, although we try and use the skills people have, uh, because we're a serving community, sometimes you have to do things that you might not have chosen to do, and that's all part of the commitment. Um, but I think the, the beauty of this place is mixing with people from many different countries, many different backgrounds, and um, yes, just, just watching people develop and change and grow. Uh, but as Phil says, a willingness to be open to um, other people's beliefs, other people's way of doing things. 